and we are starting a new year with the company of the angels as always and today we are receiving a guidance for the week of 8th to the 14th of January 2018 so stay connected because the angels have beautiful messages for us guidance for the week of 8th to the 14th of January 2018. For this week I'm using the daily guidance from your angels deck. This is from the ring virtue. So stay connected and as always don't forget if you're interested in improving your health and growing your spirituality don't forget to go to the subscribe button below so you will get notifications whenever I post a new healing or a new guidance or a new meditation here in the channel. So before we start our guidance for next week, I would like to invite you to go also to my Instagram and my Facebook. I post their daily guidance from the angels. Here on YouTube it's weekly guidance and there I have the daily guidance. So I will leave the, the link in the description below. So I invite you to go there also and stay connected with me throughout the week. Now, enough of talking, let's get into business. Here is our cards and I'm gonna start shuffling them to get the right cards, the right message for next week, the 8th from the 14th of January. Just asking the angels to surround us with their light, with their love and give us the right message, the message that we truly need to hear for next week. Let's see the card for Monday and Tuesday first. It's Monday and Tuesday, and Wednesday and Thursday is also, oh, I think we got two. <laughs> and Friday, so Saturday and Sunday, it's here. Oh, lots of energy, I love it. Okay, so let's see. The card for Monday says, there's nothing to worry about. I love this card. So the angels are telling you that in the beginning of the week, if there are lots of things you need to do, lots of things you need to work on, they are telling you, don't worry about it. Everything will be fine. You will manage to do the things you need to do. You will manage to also nourish yourself. So remember, you don't need to worry. You will have enough time to do your things. You will have enough time to work with yourself. Don't worry, the angels are with you. They are guiding you. They are there to give you the time that you need. They are there to show you the right way. So don't worry, don't worry if you're gonna manage. Don't worry if there's gonna be time. Don't, just let go, release this kind of feelings. Let it go, trust the angels, give it to their hands. Ask them, guys, please help me to deal with it. Help me to move on with it. Show me the right way, show me the, the right answers. And they will listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition, they will communicate with you through your intuition. Listen to your heart, it's always there. The right answer is always inside your heart and the angels will always speak from your heart. So don't worry, my dear. Do not uh, allow this energy of worrying blocking you so things will pile up. Just release this, everything will be fine. So remember, the, in the first, uh, first days of the week, if you start to worry too much, if you start to be um, stressed or anxious, breathe and remember this message. There's absolutely nothing you need to worry about right now. The angels will help you, the angels will guide you. And they're gonna be there for you throughout the week, from the beginning of the week, like they're saying right now. Now let's check the, the two cards for uh, Wednesday and Thursday. We got two cards, one is listen, the other one is ground yourself. So they are saying that, first of all, really important to ground yourself, my dear, really important to bring your energy to Mother Earth, to be connected, 
we often have a lot of spiritual connection and we forget our human body, our human part of ourselves. So remember, you need to ground your energy. You need to bring yourself into place so you can be properly balanced. We need to have spiritual connection. Yes, we do. We, we also need to have our human connection to Mother Earth. So they are telling you that you have to remember to ground yourself. If you need uh, any tips on how to ground yourself, you can always comment below and I will let you know. I will, I will reply to you teaching you how to ground yourself. Also, if you want me to make a video about grounding, I can also do that for you. But remember, it's important to send your energy down to Mother Earth, to send your roots down to the Earth, because you need to be focused, you need to be connected to your body right here in the present moment. So you don't flow so much around, you don't dream too much, you are focused, you are connected, and you know where you're going. And the second card is the listen card. Again, the angels are saying that it's super important. Like they said, it's, it's important to ground, but it's important to listen. It's important to connect with them. It's important to bring your attention to your intuition and trust that what you're listening is indeed your message. Your message can come sometimes from somebody speaking something near you. You just, by chance, listen to one word, listen to one phrase that that person is saying, and that connects to you. Also, they can communicate through music, they can communicate through your dreams, but it's important to listen to these messages. Give attention and give care to these messages. Don't ignore them, because this is the easiest way the angels can communicate with us. But we often ignore it. We often think that this is nothing. This is my mind creating something, but it isn't. If it feels right, if it feels like it's good for you, if it feels like it is connected with you, trust it is for you, the message is for you. So pay attention this week to ground your energy and to connect with spirits, to connect with the angels because they will communicate with you, they will guide you through your listening, through the messages they will be sending you throughout this week. And that's why actually they gave us the nothing to worry about for the first two days because when you listen to their guidance you don't need to worry because they will guide you to the best outcome so remember my dear ground listen and don't worry let go and now for the weekend friday saturday and sunday they gave us the creative project card so they are saying that it's time because the year is beginning right now there's lots of new energy coming up, lots of new energy flowing towards us. So it's important to start creating new projects. Everything that you need to accomplish, remember, there's always a start button and you need to start focusing on the things you wanna achieve, focusing on your projects, focusing on your dreams. So remember, do, especially the weekend, because we have a little bit of more time with ourselves, use these three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, to plan, to sit down, to start writing scripts for what you wanna do, start moving your plan, start doing what you want to do, start taking action. You have to be prepared, you have to be focused on where you wanna go. So remember that it's important to sit and to plan just just imagining in your head and creating this feeling that oh, okay i want to uh, get a new job but how do you want to get a new job you have to plan you have to have your projects you have to have creative projects you need to create your reality so remember during the weekend to create remember to focus on your plans and start finally planning how you want to get there what do you want to do to get there okay just don't focus only at the, uh, the the aim at what you want from this experience or where you want to get focus on how you will get there focus on your way of reaching your goals 
So this is their message also. It's important to focus, it's important to plan your projects so they don't stay only in your mind, so they can come to reality, they can uh, manifest in your life. Okay, my dear, I would like to thank you for being here with me. This was our short guidance for next week from the 8th to the 14th of uh, January 2018. Thank you so much for being with me. Stay connected, I am always here for you. Remember to comment below if you need me for anything, if you have any suggestions, any questions, I'm always here for you. And also, like I told you, you can always go to my other social media pages and I will be there for you as well. Thank you once again, I will see you soon and Namaste!